Okay, so this is the tray that I picked up at the thrift store, and it's obviously seen better days. It's got some blemishes and some problems. All the corners, paint chips, and all the corners are messed up and chipped off and all that kind of good stuff. But it is a sturdy, sturdy tray, I mean, for all of its cosmetic blemishes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sand these edges a little bit, fill in some holes. This one's got a little bit of a dip right there, so I'm going to fill that in with some wood filler and um, then I'm going to paint it and then I'm going to start with my resin project. So that's where we're at right now. It's a nice big tray. I can't believe I got that for four dollars. So that's going to be, it's like the perfect size to fit on my little coffee table. It's just the tiniest bit smaller than the top of my coffee table. So it's going to be cool on my coffee table for, for Halloween. So looking forward to this project. So this part of crafting is called sanding. I have sanded all of the edges and the entire thing. Now I'm going to get it wiped off and uh, let it dry a little bit. Then I'm going to mix up some milk paint that I found at the thrift store and paint it black. Alright, she's all sanded and ready to go. I got these corners sanded down good. All the high spots that were bumps, I got those sanded down. So she's ready for paint. Okay, so I'm ready to do my pour. I went ahead and I painted the bottom of this white. It's the last rain, remaining bits of white paint that I had. And uh, so I'm going to mix up some resin. Today I am using Maker Poxy. Maker Poxy by Just Crow, and <laughs> the last time I used this, I left it outside because I was trying to warm it up, and then I forgot it was out here, so it's a little bit uh, sun, changed by the sun a little bit, faded by the sun, but um, yeah, I'm going to get into this, I'm going to mix up some, I think I'm going to mix up some kind of a translucent orange, and I'm going to do a opaque orange that has a lot of micro powder in it so it's got a little bit of sparkle in it maybe just a little bit of glitter in that and then I'm gonna mix up some black and it's gonna have just a tiny bit of sparkle in it as well and then I'm gonna do a pour and get the back back of this bad boy going all right I've got my epoxy mixed up here and I've got these and I am not using a respirator today because I am actually outside because this tray is so huge. I could not fit it in, in my studio. So I am going to show you a little bit about a good respirator that you can find. So check out that clip right now. Check out parcelsafety.com for a respirator and use code RESINBELL to get 25% off or the link in the description box below. Okay, so this big one is going to be the clear um, orange. This one, the smallest one, is going to be the really mica powder orange with the glitter. And then this is going to be the black with the glitter. So.
Okay, I did a little more smoothing and I got some more of the resin because it's a little un unlevel and pushed a little resin that way. This is just a bottle full of alcohol. Fine mist alcohol. Do not do this near an open flame. Pop the bubbles. Yeah. All right, so I've got the uh, lettering on there. There's a few little bubbles here and there, but nothing nothing serious, and I'm fixing to put a top coat of clear on. So I think it's gonna be cool. All right, we're back outside, and I'm gonna go ahead and put the uh, clear coat on this. I'm gonna kind of do a top coat. And we'll see how this turns out. I'm so excited. I mean, you can kind of see how it's gonna turn out already, but um, I've got a little bit of uh, white showing through over here on this side here because um, my table was a little bit unlevel so everything kind of went that way a little bit but um, I think I'm going to do some clear when I do my clear coat I'm going to do some black all the way around the edges just to give it a little bit more depth and hopefully cover that up so okay I've got my black mixed up so this time I'm going to put the black down first um, I should have done that with the first one because the black started traveling on top of the orange last time. So I definitely want to make sure that I get that covered up. So I'm going to do the black first. I'm hoping these little wispies stay there because they're very dimensional. Can't hardly see it because the house is really kind of uh, mirrored in this <laughs> glossy surface. But all these little wispies at the end just kind of look awesome. Hopefully they turn out. 